This is the Forward Motion Business Show with Professor Ken and Professor Paul A. Marino, broadcasting from Uni Latina International College. Hit new heights. Start with Forward Motion. Hey, good morning. This is Professor Ken. And I'm Professor Paul Marino. And this is the Forward Motion Business Show, the home edition. As you know, we're all working through the, uh, the coronavirus, and a lot of us are um, stay at home. But uh, we wanted to bring you some innovation and keep the ideas flowing to you and try to, to find the, the, the bright spots in, uh, in, in some of this complicated time that we're living. So here's our, here's our big question of the, of the discussion here. We always ask our, our business instructors, and again, when you share this out, don't, don't uh, give us your trade secrets or anything, but we always look for advice on uh, how to do things better. And, and you've offered a lot of that already. But what what do you think if you thought about it? What was your like your 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 ten thousand dollar mistake? Yeah, well, ten thousand is very conservative. So, <laughs> we, get, we'll we, get, we, we get that a lot. We get that a lot. We try to minimize it to ten thousand, so it's a little less. Yeah, paid. good. Let's leave it. Yeah, so it doesn't hurt. It doesn't bring back any memories. But uh, man, due diligence. You know, it comes back to due diligence. You know what? A lot of I I find that a lot of um, entrepreneurs make a young and, and, and older veterans, you know, they, they take on a sense of knowing everything and, and they jump into things without really doing the right due diligence, man. And, and you know what, there's one, there's, there's, there's an enemy to the entrepreneur. There's an enemy, but it's, it's also, um, a favor or, or, or a blessing, however you want to call it. And that's passion. You know, passion can make you lose a lot of money, mm. but passion could also give you endurance, you know? So a lot of restaurant tours, or I'm going to give you my example. They have a great idea for a restaurant and passion drives them to spending a lot of money without even knowing about the business. And, and, and unfortunately, specifically in the restaurant business, the first, the first thousand or two thousand dollars you have to spend is in a good architect, in a good engineer, in a good runner to go and find out if that space is available to become a restaurant. Because landlords and and once again, landlords are there to rent the space. Right. You know. And and I've been fortunate to 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 rent through a company that's 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 solid and they'll tell you how it is but i've heard very bad horror stories of restaurant tours going into a space that was not an existing restaurant and after spending two or three hundred thousand dollars in a restaurant when they went to get their operating uh licenses they told them wait a minute you know this, you can't sit people down here this is not this is a retail store and they have to go all the way from the beginning and play impact fees and start doing all this kind of mess and where it could have been just avoided with $2,500 or so in saying, can I even open a restaurant here? Or it was this restaurant that just closed. Was it a restaurant? Because maybe the inspector that was there before uh, found it to be a restaurant. And then when you went in and they went out of business and you figured out that it was a restaurant and ends up it wasn't a restaurant, that happened to me. <laughs> nah, that's painful. So, Oh man, yeah, it's it's painful, but you know, like I said, God's plans are better than ours. So that was a very expensive school. I would have probably gone to UM twice, become an attorney and a doctor, and I would have come out better. But uh, but that's not the route that that uh that was planned for me. I mean, you know, I this is the restaurant business is where I, I had to be, and and I've tried doing other things too, and I just come back to the kitchen to get burnt, and and cut with knives and stuff. So takeaway there is. You need the passion to be successful, but like you said, there's sort of a, a balance there, right? Passion could drive you down the wrong path, and it could force you down the right path, but your due diligence is important because you don't know what you don't know, and um, and, and that's the issue. And, and I think that's a valuable lesson, you know, which uh, you can help maybe someone save a couple of bucks or maybe a little more than a couple of dollars, like you said. 